Alright guys, we gotta talk about all the shit that's been happening lately. I haven't been making many videos on all the different topics that have been happening, because really there's just been too many and there's been too much fucking stupidity, but... I'm gonna go into a lot of feelings here. Well, I'm gonna be showing you stats like I always do, but <laughs> I'm gonna be talking about my feelings as well, which is rare for me, but I need to. What happened with George Floyd is utterly disgusting. There is no mistake about it, it was disgusting. That cop was a racist and he is a murderer. There is no question about it, no debate, nothing. But here's the thing. I'm gonna talk about a whole bunch of different things, but they all relate. The first, thing, the first thing is, let's talk about the reaction. Just right off the bat, I do not support Black Lives Matter. I do not support rioting. Because it's stupid. <clears throat> Burning down and destroying businesses and buildings and stuff doesn't solve anything. And I wholeheartedly believe that people who are looting and rioting and destroying places don't really care. I believe that they don't really care about George Floyd. I don't think they care about the fact that he's killed or about Black Lives Matter or anything. I think these were just people who were taking advantage of the craziness that was going on and used it as a way to steal stuff that they simply wanted. <laughs> that, that's all I think it was. The riots are absolutely dumb. You're not helping George Floyd. You're not helping racism in general. You're doing literally nothing. And aside from that, the, the, the overall reaction of people is so dumb. Let's get on to, um, you know, yesterday people were doing this Blackout Tuesday thing where a whole bunch of people on Instagram were posting a picture of just a black screen, which apparently is supposed to be in support of solidarity of black people by just posting a black image on your Instagram. Now, of course, this, this mentality is the whole thing like, I think I'm helping while just doing nothing. But even if it was helping, what exactly are you helping? Are you helping black victims? <sighs> Are we ever, 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 ever going to acknowledge white victims? I mean, are we going to acknowledge the fact that <clears throat> white people are shot and killed by police more than black people? There's the stats right there. These stats are for 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020. Yes, even 2020. 42, just this year, 42 white people shot by police. And uh, 31 black people shot by police. The last four years, white people have been shot by police more. And even this year, there's been 10 more white people shot by police. But are we ever going to acknowledge it? Of course not. Because we love pretending that black people are the victims. It's that simple. We love pretending that black people are the victims of everything when they're not. I am not trying to discredit George Floyd. I am trying to show you people facts so you could fucking get your head out of your ass. And I'm also not saying to not support black victims, but I'm saying that support white victims too. If you ignore white victims because they're white, you're a fucking racist. You cannot say, I support black people like George Floyd, therefore I am not racist. Because you're probably the same fucking person who would ignore a white victim just because they're white. And have the false belief that black people are, you know, victims of systemic racism when white people are shot more. I mean, in one of my videos, I, I, I show it here on the screen, it's uh, this one here, white people are under attack. I give multiple reasons how, in modern day, since the SJW movement began, white people are facing more racism than black people. Watch this video for the evidence on that. And I have another video that, that, that you should watch about slavery and modern racism. I talk even additional information here about how white people are the victims of more racism than black people. It is fucking true. There are facts in both those videos and the video that I'm making right fucking now. You people need to acknowledge it. 
And in the video I made, White People Are Under Attack, one of my points, by the way, was about the mainstream media. In the video, I bring up how when somebody does an attack, they will actually artificially write down the word white under the criminal's picture, even if they're not white, to artificially inflate the number of white criminals and black victims. They artificially inflate them, and they artificially deflate the number of black criminals and white victims. They do this. The mainstream media has been caught many times showing a picture of a man who is at the very least Latino, but they'll put the word white underneath his mugshot, and they do that to artificially inflate the numbers and make white people appear as if they're the big attackers. If this ever happened to black people on the news, by the way, it has never happened. It has only ever happened to white people. So there's yet another horrible racism that's happening to white people that people don't want to fucking acknowledge. But if that ever happened to black people, there would be more fucking riots. But when it happens to white people, nobody says a motherfucking goddamn word. I want to keep talking about how white people do not have these mythical privileges you people talk about. I want to prove to you that it's black people who have these privileges, okay? Let's go over a few of the privileges we've already talked about. One, white people are shot by police more, but black people are called the victims. Two, the mainstream media artificially inflating white criminals and deflating black criminals and artificially inflating black victims and deflating white victims. And on top of that, when a white guy is the victim, the mainstream media doesn't even talk about it. There has been so many times when white people have been attacked or shot or assaulted and the mainstream media won't even talk about it. Let me give you an example right now. There's many, by the way. This is not just the one example. There's many examples, but here's one. Have any of you heard of a man called Tony Timpa? Have you heard of him? Well, here's a post about him. This is from last fucking year, last August, almost a whole year ago. Tony Timpa was suffocated by police during an arrest. He screamed, you're going to kill me. And they did. As he lay dead, they cracked jokes. There were no riots, little coverage, and you've never heard his name before, Tony Timpa, because his skin is white. And that's the honest to God truth. And to make things even worse, the very, very, very fucking rare times that the mainstream media actually does report on a white person being the victim, this is what they're met with. Shit like this. Bagged a poor white guy out of a car and beat him. Oh my goodness, poor jump. white people, please. Oh my goodness, poor white people. Not only are white victims dangerously underreported because the mainstream media doesn't fucking care. That's, a, that, that's another black privilege that we're fucking ignoring, but, you know, let's, 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 let's just keep ignoring that. But even if the mainstream media does report on a white victim, it's met with, it's met with these journalists saying shit like, oh my god, poor white people. By the way, this particular story was about that special needs Trump supporter who was attacked by four black people and barely got any coverage at all. I made a video on that too when it happened last year. You can take a look at the, not, sorry, not last year, it happened four years ago, but I made a video on it. You can check on my channel. But the point is, that's what they're fucking met with. Now, imagine, if fucking imagine what would happen if the mainstream media came out and said, poor black people. I wonder, perhaps maybe more riots. And again, let's point out that statistics show that white people are shot by police more than black people. But let's give black people all the fucking support when they deal with less than we do. Now, by the way, when it comes to the stat, let me tell you something. I'm actually willing to admit that the reason why more white people in the U.S. are shot than black people might just be because those white people were doing a shooting themselves, like, you know, all the crazed shooters who do, like, mass shootings. And statistics also show that most mass shooters are white. So I'm willing to admit that most of the white people who were shot were mass shooters themselves and had to be shot in order to be stopped. I don't know if that's what the stat is actually for. Like, 
the stat doesn't really show if it's if 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 the more white people who are shot are unarmed white people or if they were just white people across the board and that includes unarmed white people crazed white people who are mass shooters i don't know but i'm willing to admit that it's possible that the reason why more white people are shot than black people is because those white people were crazed mass shooters themselves however if i'm willing to admit that then you need to admit the same thing for Canada. Because statistics also show that in Canada, black people are shot more than white people. White people are shot more than black people in the US, but black people are shot more than white people in Canada. So if I'm going to admit that the white people in the US are shot because they themselves were shooters, then you have to admit the exact same thing for black people in Canada. You cannot see a stat where more white people are shot in the US but more black people are shot in Canada and say that black people are the victims in both. They're two opposing stats. Either white people are victims in the US and black people are the victims in Canada or black people are the victims in the US and white people are the victims in Canada. You cannot call black people the victims in both because of your stupid political opinion feelings fucking narrative. You have to look at stats. And between the US and Canada, the stats on white people and black people being shot by police is reversed. So fuck you and your racist bullshit. And let me tell you something else. If you are the kind of fucking person who is so upset about George Floyd or any other black victims, but you will ignore a white victim just because they're white, despite the fact that they face more bullshit now, you, 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 are a fucking racist. If you are the kind of person who will cry over a black victim, but will ignore white victims like that guy who was shot by police a couple years ago, or this special needs Trump supporter, or Tony Timpa, or many, many other white people who were shot by police, if you feel nothing for them because they're white, you are a fucking racist. There's no way around it. You are a racist. Point blank, period. Now, I do feel that I should point out perhaps maybe just one more thing. You can call this point controversial, but to be fair, you'll probably call my entire video controversial, so I'll just fucking say it. I really don't believe that black people care about other black people. I don't. Because black on black crime is actually extremely high. Why does nobody cry wolf? when a black guy is shot and killed or assaulted by another black person. It seems like people only have something to say if a black person is attacked by a white person. If a black person attacks a white person, no one cares. When a black person attacks a black person, nobody cares. But if a white person attacks a black person, then there's riots. It seems, it really, really, really fucking does seem like your intention is not about supporting victims of any color. It's about pushing your political narrative about white people are evil. I just want you to think about that. Think about black on black crime, you stupid fucking racist. One more thing I forgot to mention in my video, but this relates to the blackout thing on Instagram. Tell me something. I proved in this video all about white victims and how the mainstream media ignores white victims. So tell me something, the next time a white person gets shot, are you going to put up a white square on your Instagram? Probably not, because you're racist.